Hello there. My name is James, a teacher of mathematics of uh, many years. Uh, our topic today is uh, integers. And we have only two objectives. Now, integers is a very important uh, topic in uh, laying the foundation for other topics. It is mainly arithmetic and it is it might look quite simple but some areas are uh, challenging to some of the learners so we'd like to start with the addition for instance this is the usual two plus three but we have written a positive sign in front of 2 and a positive sign in front of 3. Now for this addition, a number line would be very useful. Um, the, the sign appearing before the integer, and by the way, an integer is a whole number. The sign appearing before the integer is the sign of that particular number. So for this addition, a number line is very important because it gives us the steps that we are supposed to make. For example, positive 2 plus positive 3 can be, can be done on the number line so that we start from 2 and then we interpret the positive to mean towards the right as a convention. Negative, in this case, will mean towards the left of zero, with the zero now in the middle. Therefore, plus two plus plus three would mean that we start from two, positive two, and then we move two steps to the right of zero. And therefore, it would mean moving from positive two and then two steps, or no, three steps, so that we end up at five. And we can even show that on the number line. So we are starting here, and we move one, two, three. Very basic, but very important as far as understanding the directed numbers is concerned. And therefore, Positive 2 plus positive 3 will give us positive 5. This is generally what we write as 2 plus 3 equal to 5. We may also want to add to a negative number. For example, we could start from minus 3 Add, add positive 2. On the number line again we can move. We start from the minus 3 here and then the direction is to the right of 0 two steps and therefore we move 1, 2 and therefore we land at negative 1. It means we started at minus 3, moved in that direction, and therefore we will stop at negative 1. One step to the left of 0. Uh, we now would like to look at uh, uh, addition further, but suppose we had to add a negative to another negative. How would we do that? It's again very easy, but to some learners this can be a little bit confusing. But let's look at it. With the same kind of interpretation, it would mean that our starting point is minus 2 or negative 2. And then we will add three steps, but this time to the left of zero. And therefore, we will start at minus two, 
here and we will make three steps to the left. So one. And this therefore gives us negative five. We want now to look at subtraction. Suppose we we got minus two and we wanted to subtract positive three. It means we are at minus two, but then we are moving to the left three steps. And this ends up looking like our previous question. And therefore, we will stop at minus five. Because of this negative here, this plus, negative and plus, will end up giving us a negative. Because the interpretation is we are moving to the left, to the left three steps. So we end up stopping at minus five. We could also subtract negative two. In this case, we are about to move to the left, but then we change our mind. So the second negative implies an about turn. And this uh, could be written as minus three plus, because of the change of mind. We were about to go to the left, but then we changed. So it's an about turn, and this becomes minus three plus two. And when we go back to the number line, we will be at minus three, then we move two steps to the right, and we end up stopping at negative one. We can uh, look at further examples on this one, but we don't always have to use the number line. Some things are very clear that whenever, for example, from the working, whenever we are adding a negative number to a positive number, the result is clearly the difference between the two numbers, but then the result will have the sign of the bigger, of the larger number. So negative three plus positive two, we, all we need to do is take three, subtract two, and then assign the sign of the bigger number. So that can be applied in uh, any question. For example, minus seven plus three. Here we would only need to say seven, subtract three, which gives us four, and then assign the sign of the larger number. So we do not necessarily have to use a number line all the time. Even if the numbers were bigger, negative 27 plus eight, the working is the same. We would take 27, subtract eight to get uh, 19, and then assign the sign of the larger number so that we have negative 19. We have said that when a negative is followed by a negative, the resultant sign is a plus and therefore it also represents some kind of an about turn. So if, if we are moving to we were moving to the left, but then another uh, negative sign reverses that direction so that for example, this one would be minus three plus four. And then we, again we apply the fact that we subtract the two and the result will be having the sign of the large, larger number. 
and therefore this one will give us one. We will stop there for now. Remember to subscribe for more working, for more topics in this line. And remember in mathematics, practice is very important. Like in this case, a number line is only a starting point. But there are those other ideas that we are coming up with. And we will be looking at multiplication and division in our next lesson.